Cool. All right. So, uh, actually, we're streaming live, so I can just start the show, right, guys? Right. Okay. So, here we go. Hey, everybody. This is Steve Garfield from stevegarfield.com, and we're here on the road to South by Southwest, our G Plus video hangout, and I want to thank Robert Anderson today for helping me out with the on-air portion of this hangout so everybody can see um, what we're doing even if they aren't in the hangout exactly. So the hashtag if you're on Twitter and you want to talk to us, SXSW Live. And uh, today we're going to talk about what's happening on Wednesday, March 14th. And I guess Interactive actually ends on the, the Tuesday. And there's some things going on on the Wednesday. Film is still going on, and then music is starting. So for me, it's the first year I'm going to stay a few extra days for music, and I know that's going to be fun. So let's go down the list and see what people have planned, starting with C.C. Chapman. Hey, everybody. It's uh, C.C. Chapman. My plans are really easy. I'm going to be right here at home on Wednesday. Um, I'm flying out Tuesday evening to come home, and I'll be home at that point. I'm very jealous because, yes, film is still, still going on. I have stayed for a couple days of music before. My, so you will 6th Street, just walk up and down, and there will be music going on in every single possible venue, so you'll, you'll have more than music than you'll know what to do, Steve. Um, but I'll be home, and I know what I will be trying to do, hopefully that first day, is going through all the business cards I get, is what I do as soon as I get home. I make two stacks. The stack of the, these are the people that I have a real specific reason to follow up with, you know, like we talked about something in, in particular, and then the generic pile of people who just shoved cards into my face. And I send different emails to the two of them. Right. The individual ones I send individual emails to. The other ones I will usually send a pseudo-generic BCC to everybody saying, hey, we met at South By, we may not have a chance to talk, da, da, da. And, and then I put them all in one of these envelopes, which I found out about a couple years ago at South By, yeah. which shoebox, what you do is it's, a, it's an envelope, and you, you put in your, there's some business cards in here now from recent events. And I, wow. Once a month I send them in, they scan them in, they send me, uh, I can download it as an Excel spreadsheet, and they put all the images, and they sync them up into Evernote for me. So I get all the data, all, and then they send the cards back. But these guys a couple years ago at South By literally slipped them underneath the doors of all the, all the hotel rooms and said, hey, follow up with everybody, and I've been using them ever since. So it's shoebox.com. Um, but that's what I do after all conferences, and after South By, I know there'll be plenty of business business cards to follow up on, because business can cards slip, aren't dead yet. you slip these cards in that box for me and go yeah, ahead? Yeah, sure. Let me yeah, open it up for you. Pass that yeah. over to you. Yeah. I just got this whole... Right. That'd be great. <laughs> I got a box of those, too. One thing, CC, that I do that's kind of like that is if I meet someone, um, I'll take their email address and I'll put it right in my phone and send them an email and I'm like, hey, uh, like if it was you, I'd say, hey, CC, we just met right just not just I'm, now and it's really you know i just want to make sure we catch up and i i email it then and then i'll get an email back like and they're like that is so cool what you just did so it really you know encourages the the connection like right away i'm also going to try using this new uh, evernote hello app which what you actually do is you actually say I want to, I'm want i meeting this person you click the add button and they can take it fill out their information take a picture of themselves right on it and I, I thought, I have, I've had it on my phone for a couple months now, and I've never really used it, so I'm hoping to try that out at South oh, By. That sounds interesting. Yeah, it's a free app from Evernote, if, and it's just it's called Hello. And you literally, when you, when you open it up, it's funny. It says, do you want to pass the phone to the other person, or do you want to fill it out yourself? So I just huh. figured, I figured it'd be kind of fun to, to do that and try it out as a nice way to say, hey, because I know it's the hardest part, right? You see the card, you're like, what, what did they look like, you know? So yeah. I, I thought it'd be something neat to try. Oh, I, I love like your that. trick of emailing them on the spot. Oh, and they love it, too. They're like, whoa, I just <laughs> got an email idea. from you. <laughs> it's like the <laughs> fastest that anybody's ever emailed me back. That's awesome. That's great. Uh, so, Jeff, what's up for you uh, for Wednesday? And, and also, if, if you want to talk about your ways of, you know, organizing all the people you meet. Um, wow. I, I was just thinking about that while I was packing because I, as CeCe is talking about the whole business card thing, what I've done in the past is, 
I take a quart, uh, quart uh, Ziploc bag and throw all the cards into it, and then I give it to an intern and have them type it into an Excel spreadsheet and give it back to me. But the difficulty with that is when I'm getting cards and writing notes on the back or making a notation of who I want to talk to at a certain point, the intern doesn't get that. So I think what I'm going to do this year is try and do it each night just so I can a little time to decompress in the room, a little time to collect all that information, and maybe send notes off as I'm doing that. So, okay, if they're not receiving emails while they're at the show, they'll get that when it comes back, or start a whole draft inbox of emails to these people, and when I get home, it just blasts the whole email out to everyone, just so it's fresh in my mind when I write it, but then they get it when they're back at the office. So I'm right. still toying with how to do that. The other thing talking about business cards is I don't know what I'm bringing for cards. I might bring the tiny Moo cards. I might go cardless, which a lot of people started doing just because they could connect to people via bump years ago. CC is shaking his head no so I know. furiously. No, I'm, I'm probably going to bring cards. I just, think, I just think the cardless thing is, is such a I, it's just dangerous. Car, people still, if you have cards right. made, so bring hipster. them. Yeah, it, it, it's techno um, hipster to go cardless. Exactly, and you sound like a douchebag when you say, "Sorry, <laughs> I don't do cards." Well, I mean, I showed you this before, right? Didn't I? Maybe I didn't show it yesterday. Oh yeah, that's right. Your yeah. South by apps. Yeah. Yeah, these are all my South by apps, and you can connect these four in the corner that are stacked. Those are all for connecting with people down there who aren't going to have a card. And even in social events here in Boston, I'll hand my card out and everyone's like, oh, I don't have a card. And it's getting to the point where a lot of people aren't carrying them. I mean, I still carry them. And what I say to them is, well, you have my email. Give me a shout. But if yeah. you're not doing the full card exchange, you never hear back from the people. But if you, uh, want, if you, but if you wanted to get more out of this than connections online, if you want to actually do business with people yeah. and you don't bring cards... That's dangerous. Yeah, that's a that's a bad move. I'm just trying to figure out: do I bring the the fun cards or do I bring the traditional business cards? Because I have uh, some playing cards of myself as well. That, I mean, they have all the info on them and they they work. It's just a matter of where do you hand them out? It's not like a trade show where you're throwing them into fish bowls. You're actually trying to make a human connection. So I think the ones that might be a little more fun give people a better memory of you too instead of that just goes into a stack of, of other cards. Um, I can't reach them from here. I was going to go get them. Hey, Jeff, um, Jeff uh, one, one thing while you mentioned it, the trade show, which always screws me up about what day that thing starts, it, it starts, starts on, on Monday. Yeah, it starts Monday. It doesn't even start on the weekend. So the which trade show is only three days. It would start Monday. Friday and have it be Saturday, Sunday. They don't open it until Monday this year? Yeah, trade show is Monday. <laughs> you know, I don't know what they're thinking, but you know, it's well, like by the end of South by, and I'm ready to go to the airport. I'm like, I want to hit the trade show before I leave, and it's so right. valuable. So I and a lot of people just come in for the weekend too. That seems yeah, like such a. It, it really should be open. Um, yeah, the trade show thing. Hang on. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> the trade show thing, I think, is just the mentality of these are businesses that aren't coming in for the weekend, and they think, okay, well, I can do a trade show and overlap both. Um, both music and interactive and film by staying there four days. I think it's yeah. a four-day trade show. Right. So it's Monday through Thursday. Right. And they right. get the best of both uh, both events. Well. Yeah, I guess. Well, I think it's silly. I mean, they're buying a spot anyway, so why not why not uh, man the booth the whole weekend or at I least have so. that space open? Yeah, they should. Um, these are the meet meme cards. So it's the the whole playing card thing with all the info on it. That's kind of cool. Uh, cool. I have a whole whole box of those. Well, you know what, CC, you would like that because then you know what his face looks like, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why that's why on my business that's why my business card has the face. <laughs> that's a double. Uh -huh. That's a stunt double. I know. I, good, good looking I, I like guy. I get these out. The uh, the. The oh, end. nice! The cards for everyone. Oh, that's cool. Okay, my name's uh, yeah, Tariq Aziz. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I haven't actually, I've never actually seen one of those decks. Let's see that, that again. Let's see that again. It's the, uh, the, the 52 deck from, yeah. from Iraq for the, the most wanted guys. So there's Tariq. That's awesome. So here's my uh, cards. Oh. They're, they're all these mini cards. Oh, you did cards. Root cards, but they're all yeah. you. 
with me on them. So oh, I, yeah. They're, they're That's pretty the way cool. to do it, right? Yeah. I love yeah. that you did here different I, here, pictures. Here I am with a beer. You know, I just it's pretty cool. So you see what one you get. I may bring these instead because my mini moves are just photos I've taken, but they're not photos of me. They're just photos of food. Yeah, um, I always like I always like having the one because I have some the move cards like too one. in my pictures. Yeah. It's always fun yeah. to hand yeah. them to people and go, yep. here's evil CC, you know? Everybody always wants this one because it's evil CC. Oh, oh nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the vampire CC. So I'm exploring a virtual Southwest South by uh, this year that I think is going to be an absolute disaster, but we'll see. I have 25 people that I've circled that are going uh, from Google+. Plus. I'm going to stay in touch with Hangouts, stay in touch with their streams, see what kind of connections I make that I already have, which and I'm not, not very hopeful that it's going to be very fruitious, but, but it'll be interesting to see how far you can leverage Hangouts into the space and, and how much virtual play you can get back from it. That is a great like idea, and, and like in the in the pre-chat, right when you were getting this thing on air, you suggested I do a Google Hangout down at, it's from South By, and um, you know, we did one every day for a week leading up to South By, this, that might be a really good idea if I can, if I can get the on air um, before then. And I'll, do I'll spot you for it, I'll, I'll meet you every day and, and set up a time that you want to do it, or we'll do it by the pool, whatever, make it interesting, but, so what's... So here's the thing. Last year we started a, uh, we thought we were going to take, we got a list of 4,000 applicants that applied to go to speak at South By. So there's a lot of applications that got put in. They selected 150 or whatever it was. And so we said, well, why don't we go contact people that didn't get to, to speak and get them in a Hangout, record it, catalog it. And we did this before you could record Hangouts, and it was a big mess. Um, Paul Terry uh, was the one that started that. And so was because the, the voting date for that was so far back, there aren't any speakers that are going to get together and talk about Google+. So what we're suggesting is that you could do a Hangout from South By and basically give your five-man talk as if you were speaking at South By, but, but do it in, in an on-air format. And if you want to do a daily report, it's probably a really good idea to do from South By. Okay. So I'll be more than happy to, to, to set it up for you and, and All right. connect that. That way you don't no, worry. I appreciate it. Great, thanks. Cool. So let me take a look at, let me just go through my schedule real quick here. Um, so the trade show on Wednesday I'm going to do because all the interactive stuff is done. So I'm going to yeah. spend some good quality time in the trade show, which I think is really valuable. Um, so that's why I'm going to do that. And then I have some, some of the comedy stuff is still going on. And I know I'm not going to be able to get to the comedy stuff during interactive because my schedule, I looked at it again yesterday, it is so jam-packed. So there's a stand-up comedy um, you know, group thing going on at 11 on Wednesday, and then um, at 2:30, Jack Black is going to be there. Oh, cool! Yeah, <laughs> behind be, behind the scenes with Jack. Oh, with Jack Black, Matthew McConaughey, and Richard Linklater. Um, what? <laughs> for this, I guess it's a movie that they're all in together called Bernie. So that's 2:30 oh. on Wednesday. So that should be cool. And then I have um, four o'clock. It's going to be a whole comedy day. Upright Citizens. Brigade, so I'm going to go to that, and um, I guess there's some stuff at night, which I don't really have on my piece of paper right now, but uh, it should be kind of a fun and relaxed day as opposed to the days before. Which yeah, is well, I looked at my schedule. The only thing I had was trade show, which I'll probably hit earlier anyway. But oh, trade, you're gonna go trade the, we can go to the trade show together. Yeah, we can do trade show, and I had two music things at night, so I have uh, two bands at night to look at. I wanted to... Um, also cover logistics a little bit because okay. I don't think we really talked about those. We did on the first day, but we haven't touched on any of that. And as we get close, as we're, we're flying out tomorrow, I'm trying to figure out how much cash to bring, what to bring for credit cards or even bring an ATM, and then this whole weather packing thing, figuring out am I going to carry an umbrella down there? Do I just plan to run from building to building? Oh, and try and I'm carrying an umbrella. Clubs? A little one, those ones that you get for like two bucks on the streets of New York, that yeah. one's coming with me. And if I lose it, who cares? What about cash? And I I like to travel with a little cash so I can stop at Starbucks, I can go grab something at the crepe place, I can go yeah. give some money to a, a street vendor for food as opposed to try and do everything with a credit card while I'm yeah. down there. Even okay. though many oh, of the events are free food and free booze and you're pretty much covered for lunch and dinner. But breakfast is a big meal for me too. So, I I, I always carry some cash with me just in case. Yeah. But 
personally, from a business perspective, I try to I try to use a card for everything possible because then when I get home, I've got it all, you know, right. for tax purposes and all that stuff. I've got everything and itemized of it. where I charged it. But and you have it on the statement as opposed to collecting a thousand receipts and trying to. Well, and I say the receipts too, but just I, but you gotta have some cash, even if it's just for the cabs. Because I don't know if the cabs there take. Cards yet, or granted, take yeah. a dollar for the bus, Steve. Oh, what about the pedicab? They don't, they don't take cards. You can have to bring cash for that. So. Yeah. Good point. Good point. Yep. For any uh, criminals who are watching this, I'm not going to have any cash or credit card. <laughs> <laughs> so don't really bother coming near me. And I'm totally a raincoat guy over a, an umbrella. Yeah. Well, what do you mean, CC? No umbrella? No. Umbrellas, they poke you in the eye. That's, uh, That's I get scared of that. No, I'm more of a yeah, and it's funny because wow. earlier today on on Twitter, Ron <laughs> Plouffe, who I know you know, he was funny. He goes, "That's the difference between East Coast and West Coast." Said East Coast understand that you can wear a raincoat. West Coast only understands umbrellas, um, which I was laughing about. Oh, that is so funny. I'm an umbrella guy then. I'm a Chiquita umbrella guy from Clout. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Discl Dis <laughs> disclosure, you know. Yeah. Did you guys get that? No. No. That was no. a good clout perk. I got I'm not a, influential about bananas, I guess. I got My clout has been plummeting recently, and I'm not quite sure why. And I'm, and actually, I'm pretty sure I don't care either. It's just it's <laughs> like I give up. I'm not even I got a nice me. Chiquita um, umbrella and a banana hanger. That should be the next uh, blog post <laughs> I do. The, the race to the I know, bottom. CC. You, you know what? I did. I did get an umbrella from Clout. Now I think about it, but mine, because I know Emily likes it, because it's, uh, it's the weather channel, because the, it's black on the outside, but on the inside, it's a nice blue sky with, like, clouds. Oh, that's, that's cool. So she good. thinks that's kind of a cool umbrella, but it's too big. It's a big one, so. But. Mm. But protect your gear. That's the one thing, though. Be careful if you got a lot yeah. of electronics. Um, but if you need an excuse to buy the new iPad, whatever it is, just, you know, then don't bring it and get your iPad wet and ruin it so you can buy a new one. So how does the new iPad look? Does, it, does the screen go all the way to the edge? I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. How, how cool is it? I haven't looked at it. I purposely uh, no, ignored the last hour. Actually, it, it doesn't. It looks like the old one. Uh, but they didn't name it. I'm seeing all these posts that they didn't tell you if it was an iPad 3 or iPad HD. I'm seeing all these pictures of people going, what's it called? Yeah, I had to jump out of the chat that I was in, and I didn't, they didn't name it. They were just calling yeah, it. Is it the iPad 4S Plus? They were just calling it the new iPad <laughs> yeah. over and over again. <laughs> Mashable called it the iPad 4G LTE, but... You know, that I sounds like know. a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they called it. I don't know what they could call it. I actually asked, um, I sent a tweet over to Mashable to say, what are they calling it? But That's awesome. They, if they make it 4G, that means there's there's six quarter mile circles somewhere in the United States where you'll actually be able to leverage that, that broadband. Right. But I did see somebody say, too, I know yesterday Ewan, was, ta Ewan was talking about the fact that there wasn't going to be a pop-up store. And the one thing I did see about the iPad is, it doesn't start shipping until the 16th, which makes sense why they, now they're not going to have a pop-up store. Oh, that's right. So well, that makes right. sense. What he yep. was, Good point. was talking about that. Yeah. yeah. But I haven't looked. The, I, I'm, lo I'm looking forward to seeing the specs. Um, I, it's got, it has a five um, meg camera and it's going to shoot 1080p. So I think you'll like Done. it. Done. <laughs> yeah. Well, really? I'm still an iPad, well, I'm still an iPad 1, so going, to, going to the Me new too. one is... Was, that means I can just go ahead and throw this away, right? I don't need this no, anymore. No, don't throw that away. <laughs> <laughs> Hold still, kids. And it focuses on everything. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. But yeah, okay, guys. Um, yeah, right. So thanks, guys, for, for being on the show, and thanks, everyone, for watching. Um, all the archive shows from the Road to South by Southwest are on stevegarfield.tv. And uh, for those of you who go in there to South by, if you see any of us, please uh, say hello. Yeah, uh, stop us and say hi. And, bye bye. Uh, we'll see you guys down there. All right, bye.